yeah so join me on this journey and i hope that um i hope that it wouldn't be so challenging to vlog in town i know it's it's kind of difficult but yeah i'm taking you guys along i might not be able to show you guys everything but um, the little that i'll be able to show you guys i hope that you enjoy it guys how are you and thank you all for joining me so today is a attempted vlog i'm trying to go into town to just buy a few things for the house so i've got my handy mask here and just my piece of paper where i put my grocery list and as you can see behind there little man is playing but i also have to go fill the gas canister for for the cooker because sometimes we don't have electricity here yeah so join me on this journey and i hope that um i hope that it wouldn't be so challenging to vlog in town i know it's it's kind of difficult but yeah i'm taking you guys along i might not be able to show you guys everything but um, the little that I'll be able to show you guys. I hope that you enjoy it. So stay tuned and thank you so so much for having me You think that you lost all I will take your hand and we'll rise up from the dust Oh, here we go, 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 let us heal and grow You won't be alone, you're unstoppable Opena o fabric soft nayo mala ondanga nda kufa no no bleacher so I think andi kufa kandi ni kama kanga. No, no bleach eye. Mala kumbo kwa nka nale kun. Oh, ngengo nda kufa hii, othika. I think othika hii li nao. Here we go, 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 let us see how long go. You won't be alive, we're unstoppable. Don't be afraid to show what we're going for. This is what we know. Here we come back to life, we're still breathing. Standing up, everybody's gonna see it. Oh, all you need to know is that we're holding on. Even if we fall, we will rise up and we follow the path that we believe in. No, we're not gonna stop until we reach it. Oh, all you need to know is that we're holding on. 
out of my car <laughs> through the house immediately went to the bathroom you know remove the clothes had a shower had to desanitize I'm not sure if everybody does this because I have this all of a sudden because of this pandemic you've got such a great fear of just going out and coming back and just um, exposing your family because even if you think you've protected yourself so well when you went out you still have this at the back of your mind ringing like did I do enough so usually when I go out I make sure that I carry my sanitizers in my bag my masks I sanitize before I touch because like in the shops here in, in in the place where I am before you enter each and any shop you must wear your mask and then there is usually a logbook that you need to fill in your details, your name, your surname, your contact details, where you're coming from, the time that you've arrived, and the temperature. So that's the process. So you sanitize yourself before you even fill in that documentation. And you also sanitize yourself after that you filled in the documentation. And usually there are two separate queues or one queue. Um, at the shop where I went, which is Metro, we had two queues, the queue for uh, documenting the, the details and particulars. And then we had another queue where after you filled in the details, you still had to go line up in the other queue before you enter the shop and you still had to disinfect that side. So uh, it was such a massive challenge for me because usually when I do my grocery shopping, I try to do it like on a two or three months interval. So I try to shop as much and this has started ever since the pandemic because I used to be that one week <laughs> kind of shopper but ever since the pandemic i've taught myself how to just do a massive and bulk shopping at least enough for for two months or even three months if finances can afford it honestly i'm not well off but i plan my finances well and i budget my my finances well to ensure that my family is well sustained during that time like it was such a struggle to shop in this time the shops were so full because i think i just went to the shops during the wrong time it's it was month end and a long queue at the at the door of the shop and of course you had to fill in your details and sanitize and still queue to enter the shop and once i've entered the shop it was still a long queue at the tills i was wondering if this was the greatest mistake of my life <laughs> So guys, I, I officially and initially went through the whole process and yeah, it was fine. It was fun and I honestly enjoy and appreciate the suggestion. Thank you, Mommy D, for recommending this video to me. And it was actually her initiation because she wanted to know the basic price of com commodities in Namibia right now during the pandemic. She has her family here and she wanted to send money over. It's, it's not easy. People have lost their jobs. People um, have 
lost their source of income basic price of commodity in namibia started hiking up right at the beginning of pandemic and even now it's really so so difficult some of the prices of basic commodities that we used to to buy off were just excessively hiked toilet paper bread cooking oil so so expensive so i i honestly appreciate that she she gave me this video recommendation and honestly i am glad that i brought you the the news forward i thought putting out this video might also help somebody out there in the diaspora who's having family back here in namibia and wonders what is the basic price of commodities during pandemic if you are interested in sending money home or uh, helping out at home to sustain your family your mother father ch children aunties uncles i know it's so difficult because sometimes we think people who live in the diaspora are well off and have enough money but they are definitely also just struggling as we do and the global pandemic is affecting everyone across the board so i am so happy to to have gone through this um <laughs> this challenge and it's it's out of my comfort zone and um yeah i think you can also see that you know <laughs> it's really out of my comfort zone but i appreciate it i appreciate it i would also like to encourage you guys to always check out my description box because for some other videos like cooking recipes and videos about my country i do not only put in enough content or information in the video itself but i try to educate you guys more in the description box so if you are a person who likes reading then listening or watching a video go down in the description box and feast yourself on the kind of content that i've left for you guys so i hope they find value in what i've put out and yeah thank you so much guys until we meet again in the next video and it's bye besties